Okay, this is Paul, Golden Gate Enterprises. Um, what we have is, in the section where this two-story addition is, this little overhang was put in as a, an afterthought, if you want to call it that. And the way it was put in, um, they used a two-by-four ledger, and that's pretty much what's supporting this overhang. And what's happening is, it's beginning to sag and dip down, if you will, I'm trying to do with my hand dip down a little bit because it's pulling out because there were nails used in here so what's going to have to happen is we're going to have to go around and put screws in to try and suck this back up against the wall and we've got probably three quarter inch siding we've got the two by four it's got to go through which is what one and a half one and three quarters so i'm going to say we probably need two and a half inch wood screws that will go in and i'd say probably put in two for each bay if you will and go around here and do it up to the front porch over here and in the corner you can see that little opening right there a little block of wood needs to go on there a little trimmer piece just to close that little gap that you see right there uh, they just never did it when they did the original construction and if we come around here you can see, again, this is a second story addition. The overhang is right here. And if you look, you can actually see it sagging and it's pulling away here. So we wanna tighten that back up. And what started this is the overhang in the back on the second story uh, addition area here. It's sagging and pulling away. So we have the same thing that needs to be done. But what happened is over here, um, we actually can see if you look okay where's my hole you can look up in here and you can see daylight if the camera's getting it up there and the reason is that the flashing excuse me I'm going to get right where you are here the flashing that comes up from the roof underneath that little bottom uh, last strip of siding uh, uh, it looks like the flashing is pulled away and in fact what's happened is water has dripped down behind it and that water dripping down behind it has taken what appears to be a one by two strip that goes from this corner to right about over here which is probably about eight feet and you can see where it's rotted it out because it was cheap pine the board underneath seems to be fine and the water's come through there and it ended up probably on top of the trim right here and it ended up rotting this out here and we need to pull off this trim here which looks like a um, half by maybe three something like that um, and maybe pull off the bottom piece put some two-part a b epoxy in there to treat the wood it doesn't look like it needs to come out the siding it just has a little modest amount of damage in here uh, and uh, once we open that up put the trim back in put the strip back in there fix the flashing up there so water can't get through I think we're uh, we're all set and we need to put the screws in here the other part of it is that inside the house here there are signs of water damage right inside the window and there's the worst of it we just want to scrape some of this out and make sure that there isn't any damage to the framing and if it basically looks like cosmetic damage we want to open up just the stuff here so we don't have to remove the uh the curtain here or the cabinet and open this up a little bit you're gonna need some plastic to protect the washer and dryer and catch the chips and stuff that are going down and make sure we have no rot and no cause for them to be concerned then take a little um 20 minute mud and spackle it back up if all looks fine here and their painter will take care of doing the uh the painting so this is really more of a verification check so that's it and I'm going to introduce you to uh, nice folks. Okay, you have to say hello. So either Sal or Jeff. Hello, Dale. Okay, <laughs> this, is, this is? This is Harvey Laird. And this is Ann Laird. Okay, so now you've seen the nice couple and you've seen the house. And that's the quick update of the job here. Thank you.